வணக்கம் நான் பூஜா குமார் பேசுகிறேன் ஆக்ட்ரஸ் ஃப்ரம் விஷ்ணுரூபம் ஒன் அண்ட் டூ ஐ வு ரெப்ரஸ் ஐ ரொம்ப எக்ஸைட்டட் ஃபார் விஷ்ணுரூபம் டூ வி ஹவ் பின் ஒர்க்கிங் வெரி ஹார்ட் ஃபார் த லாஸ்ட் ஐ வுட் சே த்ரீ இயர்ஸ் டு ஷேர் ஆல் த ஹார்ட் ஒர்க் வித் யூ ஸோ வர் ஆல் வெரி வெரி எக்ஸைட்டட் அண்ட் ஃபைனலி த டே இஸ் கம் Uh, I think everyone else also has been waiting for so long so thank you to all of the fans and all of the people you know for giving us the time uh, and uh, and waiting and I know you're all excited uh you're going to see more action you're going to see more drama you're going to see more romance uh he's sir has been able to you know combine this western sense of filmmaking uh with an indian movie and i think everyone's going to see something new and they're going to see something really cool on screen and you're going to be sitting at the edge of your seat because the action is so amazing and he does it you know so uh, i would say methodically but then also gracefully he does it and i think that has to do so much because he's a dancer so the action is actually like a like a musical i could say uh and you're going to see that and then you see nirupama and wizam also be Uh, a little bit more romantic so you're going to see a little romance because in the first part you know they don't love each other at all like he's using her as a piece she's using him as like oh god he's a kathak dancer he's my husband i'm just using him to get to america and that's it so she you know she transforms into this woman who actually starts loving her husband and respecting him and then he also i would say at the end of part 1 starts becoming a little emotional for her he never thought he would be because that's not his job but i think he also feels a little um responsible you know for her because she is his wife you know after all and then he also kind of realizes you know what he's what he's done i think movie making is very tough uh i think movie making in india is also very tough So uh you know it's not in our hands uh I'm not the producer so I if it was up to me I wouldn't take so long but then you know there's other things that come into play I mean there's a lot of action there's a lot of special effects there's music so you know we're making two movies um there's a lot of things at play so but it's not delayed because we want it to be delayed so So I uh, am involved in an underwater action sequence. Uh Sir also has a lot of, you know, action in it. Um Andrea has done another big action sequence. So all of us get to do, you know, pretty uh I would say like a lot of action <laughs> in the movie, especially for actresses, you know, we don't get a chance to do that. And Gumbelsters written such fantastic female characters uh that he's given us that chance um, you know, to showcase you know women being these strong empowered women uh and so i really have to thank him for that and and appreciate him to believe that you know we can showcase women that way so uh i do underwater action and it's interesting because uh sir had never directed i think underwater action sequence so and i have only dived i'm a diver so uh th- in this one it was like doing action underneath the water I'm like oh my god I don't know if I can do that but then sir said you know would you like to do it and I said yes and then 5 minutes later I said oh my god should I have said yes or no I think I should have said no um but then you know when you work with sir you're he's obviously going to make everything as easily uh like so you're not scared or you know everything is going to be fine you know during the shooting because you start thinking well you know our oxygen tanks going to have oxygen you know are we going to have like the right amount of power to be able to go underwater so he made it all very uh easily adaptable and so we could you know shoot the sequence you know without any without any problems uh i was i was saddened i was really hurt by the fact that it, it was a film that was going to be banned because uh i felt like he had captured emotions and sentiments that everyone could identify with and you know we live in a country uh based on freedom and we should be allowed to showcase our work we should be allowed to write whatever our opinions are uh and i think we should be able to you know do any actionable items that aren't going to hurt people um there's you know there's safe protesting there's also you know non-violent protesting so 
this is a, a communication that we have with the people. You know, that's what cinema is, is how we can go into their homes, how we can reach them, you know, in ways that we could never reach before. Uh, so I was really hurt by the fact that a man who's given so much to Indian cinema and not only Tamil cinema, uh, we're going to stop him from movie making because he's never wanted to hurt anyone. He actually looks out for people. He actually wants to showcase Indian sentiment. So uh, I hope that doesn't happen again. And um, and then we're hoping that everything's going to be smooth with this year of them too. <laughs> Look, I know about American politics. Indian politics, I haven't read up enough about. Um, obviously, this is his decision, which he feels that he can probably do something, you know, for the country. Uh, and one thing I'll have to say about Sir is that he's a very honest man. And I think he's given 50 years of Indian cinema, which means uh, showcasing human emotions so that people can understand their life better. Uh, and I think that's what he wants to do when he's entered politics. I think it's his social duty. I think he feels that he can reach people. So why not reach them in a social way? I hope not. I hope not. I know he said that and I tell him, I'm like, please, sir, don't. I mean, you're, I would say, one of the best filmmakers in the world. And I want him to do more films. I really don't want him to stop. And I, and I, you know, I think, well, why can't you do both? Why can't you do good for people? And why can't you also make movies? It's just tough. I think it's really hard to do both the things because they require so much of you, you know, for them to be successful. So uh, I hope he doesn't. <laughs> I really hope he does more movies. We actually, we knew that it was one project. We actually didn't know there was a part two. So we came on, I mean, I know I came on board, I can't speak for everyone else, but I came on board thinking it's all one movie, um, and then he had decided at some point to make it into two, but I thought it was all one project. Um, so I didn't know it was gonna be two separate movies. Look, I think it's all about the content right now. I think we're all wanting great content. We want to see good writing. We want to see good emotions. We want to see people do extraordinary things on the big screen that we can't do in our real life, right? And we're demanding that more and more, which we should. Uh, and we've, we have, India has a 4,000 year history. We have so many stories to tell and so many ways to tell it. Um, and now's the time because of so many distribution avenues. Uh, so it has to be about the story. You know, if the movie can be, you know, a series, okay, great, but it has to be that series. I mean, those characters have to be going somewhere. So uh, it's all an in interpretation from the director of how he's going to do his film or TV series or, you know, he's going to do it in three parts. Um, but people are wanting good content, right, and exciting content. So um, I think it's a great time. So I've just produced a short film, uh, which I'm going to be turning into a series. Um, and there's three projects that have just come my way. Um, so I have to read the scripts. Uh, one's in Tamil and one's in, uh, in Telugu and one's in English. So let's see. I'm going to still decide which one I want to do next. Uh, I've been taking it like a little easy because I'm the kind of actor who likes to do one film at a time. And uh, I also um, am also like a creative person who likes to develop also. So you need time for that as well. So if you're constantly working and shooting, you're not going to get time to do that creative part. So I'm doing both, you know, right now. Because I think now is a great time for South Asian content all over the world. And my one goal is to take Tamil cinema internationally. Take Tamil cinema to the world level because... We've got so many great stories here, you know, and why I've been, I don't know how, but it's Karma Destiny, which has brought me to Tamil cinema. You know, India has 1,000 movies, right? 200 of them come from North India. 800 come from South India. So just out of pure numbers, it's more feasible and easy to do movies from South India. So uh, I hope all of you can help me with that goal.